guys, what's going on? Just want to do a video here breaking down Kentucky's 2020 recruiting class. Before I get started and talking about the class overall and each player individually, I just wanted to say how there's still a chance that we can add one more guy to this class. We are still going after Maker Maker, who is a five-star center in the class of 2020. And you never know what 2021 guys might reclassify or what's going on behind the scenes. So there's still a chance we could add to the class. But realistically, this is probably what our class will end up being for next season. Kentucky's class of 2020 is rated number one nationally, is made up of six guys and two five-stars and four four-stars. Five of the six players are rated as top 50 players and two are rated as top 10 players. Two of those six players are also rated the number one player in their own state. Kentucky's also landed the top two shooting guards in the entire nation. Our highest rated recruit comes in at number four nationally and BJ Boston Jr. who is a five-star shooting guard who stands 6'6 and weighs 175 pounds. BJ Boston Jr. is rated the number one shooting guard in the entire class and is also rated the number three player in the state of California. Overall just what I've seen from BJ Boston Jr. He's a terrific scorer who can score from all three levels of the court. He can drive to the basket, score mid-range, and also score from beyond the three-point line. BJ also has a very natural feel for the game, and he's very comfortable with the ball in his hands at all times, especially at the end of the game. When someone needs to get a bucket, BJ wants the ball in his hand, and he embraces that moment. Our next highest rated player comes in at number seven nationally in Terrence Clark. Terrence Clark is a five-star shooting guard who stands 6'7 and weighs 185 pounds. Terrence is the number two shooting guard in the class, but is also rated the number one player in the state of New Hampshire. Terrence is a very explosive player, but despite being very explosive, has tremendous and incredible body control for a guy that is so explosive. He really plays a lot of energy and can rebound extremely well. His court vision is off the charts and he has the potential to be the number one pick in the 2021 NBA draft. So Terrence has the potential to be an unbelievable player. His ceiling is limitless. He has the potential to be one of the best players in the country next year. Coming in next at 26th nationally is Devin Eskew who is a four-star point guard who actually reclassified from the class of 2021. So he will be a younger player but under the guidance of Davion Mintz I think he has the potential to develop into one of the best parts of the team next year. Devin Eskew stands at 6'3 and weighs 195 pounds and is the number six player in the state of California. Devin Eskew is a very high basketball IQ who can really handle the ball extremely well which obviously that's important for any point guard but his ball handling is off the charts and is really good and he's also a very dangerous three-point shooter from the footage I've seen which is a very good attribute something that we need next year to help replace Emmanuel Quickly, Tyrese Maxey who were some of our better three-point shooters last year and he also can play defense very well and he has good body control too. Coming in next at 29th nationally is Isaiah Jackson who is a four-star center who stands 6'9 and weighs 200 pounds. Isaiah Jackson is the number one player in the state of Michigan and what I wanted to say about him was for the longest time he was labeled as a power forward and I still see him as a four man but he was switched on 24-7 to center which is kind of interesting. Isaiah Jackson is a freakish athlete who has incredible speed for his second jump and can block shots, jump all around the court. He dunks with a lot of aggression just like Bam Adebayo a little bit. They are different players but he finishes above the rim kind of like him in some of the clips I was able to see. Isaiah Jackson could possibly be the most exciting player in next year's team in my opinion. Coming in next at number 35 is Lance Ware, who is a four-star power forward who stands 6'9 and weighs 215 pounds. He is the number two player in the state of New Jersey and is a lefty who has tremendous bounce and has a nose for the basketball. And while he is still developing offensively, I truly believe that he has potential to be one of the most surprising players on our 2020-21 team next season. Because I really do think he could probably be the one player that will exceed his expectations the most. Just like kind of like a shy Gilgis Alexander did a couple years ago, I seriously could see that out of Lance Ware because from the footage I've seen, I have, I'm just getting a vibe from him that he will develop into one of our most important players next year. I know that's a, that's a big statement, but I seriously believe it. And while he is developing offensively, his ceiling is very high too. And then closing out our six-man class, who comes at number 59, and Cameron Fletcher, who stands 6'6 and weighs 180 pounds. He is a small forward and the number two player in the state of Missouri. Cameron Fletcher is, is primarily a threat from 15 feet and in, and his game is still developing. But out of all the six players I've watched footage on, being honest, Cameron Fletcher's footage was honestly the most impressive and most exciting in my opinion. He was flying around dunking the ball in there super aggressively, blocking shots, super high above the rim. And while obviously he is the least rated recruit out of the six players, he's still 59th nationally. And he obviously has a tremendous upside. He plays very, very hard and attacks the basket with a full head of steam and just plays super aggressively. And I think he has the potential to be a very important player on next season's team, coming off the bench, getting the crowd pumped up and just getting the team pumped up. So I'm really excited to see what he can do next year. But Cameron Fletcher definitely has a tremendous upside. As I mentioned earlier, we do have three incoming transfers that I've addressed in three separate videos when they committed. And Davion Mintz, the grad transfer point guard from Creighton, who will be a senior next year and immediately eligible because he's a grad transfer. And then Jacob Toppin, who is a small forward from Rhode Island, who would be a sophomore next year, but he will probably have to sit out because of the rule not being approved, the one-time transfer rule thing. So he will have to probably sit out, but then he'll be a redshirt sophomore the following season. And then the most recent addition to the Big Blue Nation family was Olivier Saar from Wake Forest, a center, who will be a senior next year, who should get that waiver to be eligible next season, as long as the NCAA approves it but they should because his coach was 
fired and there's a lot of stuff going in his favor there so don't listen to all the negative stories i still believe he will be and if he's not be prepared for a major video on this channel and we're gonna go confront the ncaa at their office I'm just kidding we'll see what happens but uh this may be cal's best class yet which is saying so much because he's had so many great classes over the years and i seriously do believe this might be the most impressive class that he's had in his 10 11 years here at uk the one thing i wanted to note besides the fact that like this class is so talented and there's just every player has tremendous upside the one thing i saw that maybe really the most excited about next year's team was that each player plays with an edge about him and they play with a tremendous level of energy every single class over the years we've had one or two guys that i've watched footage and like that guy plays that extra edge now just because you don't play like super like vocal and stuff doesn't mean you don't play with like energy or super hard but every single one of these players they play extremely hard they fight for every inch they die for every ball they're yelling after like major plays and stuff like they just get super hyped up that's the word i want to use hype i know you say hype tape when i do the videos but like every one of these players has that hype about them and from bj boston to cameron fletcher each player plays with a tremendous level of just energy and just has that mentality about him because when it comes down to it when a team that has that kind of extra edge about them when they're up 10 points they don't just let it sit there at 10 points they push it to 20 points then 30 points then 40 points they just keep going they never let up they play with that kind of energy and mentality the entire the entire time no matter who they're playing whether they're playing a terrible team or the best team in the country obviously no matter if we're playing at rupp arena on the road or on a neutral court come march madness time or early on in the season having that kind of energy and mentality about a team that from each player from the best player to the role player at the end of the bench when the team has that kind of mentality that's what it comes down to in winning games and winning championships because come march time if we can feed off the crowd and play with that kind of energy on the court that just sparks so many things amongst the team and then the, the entire environment with the fans and that's just what it's going to come down to if we want to get our ninth championship all six of these newcomers have that edge about them and i'm just so excited to see what they can do and i seriously do believe that we have a chance to get number nine next year and i'm very excited to see what they can do so let me know down in the comments guys who you are most excited to see play next year and who do you think is going to be the most surprising player next year who's going to exceed their expectations the most i think that's going to be lance Ware, and then most exciting player i think isaiah jackson but you never know because terrence clark and bj boston are absolute ballers and i think they're going to be very very good too so thanks for watching guys so much stuff to come i'll keep you guys up to date with stuff that's going on with kentucky news lots of videos the reaction videos are coming i keep saying it but they are coming hours upon hours of footage can't wait to get out so you guys can see thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video go big blue Next again. Run a better play. Come on.